really looks like the actual plastic or the tubing itself is dyed green. How that even is possible when I used clear coolant, I don't know. Well, what's up everyone? Eric here, and today I'm going to be draining and likely cleaning my custom water cooling loop. Because as you can clearly see, the tubes are now turning green. The reservoir itself looks a little hazy, but it's really not too bad relative to the tubing. Now, I'm not sure if this is because I'm the type of tubing I'm using or if this is just something that soft tubing does. But yeah, that, that's getting a very good neon green to it and it looks really bad. So this is with two complete flushes with distilled water and the pipe or the tubing still looks that green. So I am going to have to take it apart and try hand cleaning it with a pipe cleaner or something. <sighs> so yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Damn. Okay, let's hope maybe I need to let them sit a little longer and then try it again. But it really looks like the actual plastic or the tubing itself is dyed green. How that even is possible when I used clear coolant, I don't know. Okay, I was hoping this was going to be a quick straightforward video, but here I am. Now, it has been some time and I have rebuilt and refilled the loop with just distilled water for now. After I scrubbed the tubing three or four times, 
and let it soak for a couple of hours in some sort of detergent water mixture thing. And yes, it does look better, but the tubing is still really green and it somehow got really green from clear coolant. Now, none of this really makes any sense whatsoever to my brain because the tubing doesn't look anything remotely like the coolant that I removed from the loop is. Like, the coolant from the loop looks really clear and the tubing looks really green. So I am at a bit of a loss here with what the hell is going on. Now, I did go and check what I actually bought for the tubing. The Amazon listing says it's PVC, but if I look at the product detail, it's being called up as polycarbonate, which is not PVC, it's PC tubing, which could explain a few things. Because polycarbonate is not a standard plastic for tubing, at least it's not from the standard named brand companies, they typically use polyvinyl chloride or PVC, which is what I thought I bought. Now, I'm not a chemist, so I don't really know or understand why this happened. If it was some sort of combination between the coolant and tubing, or if it's just the tubing, or if it's something completely different, I don't know. I did briefly search online for what the hell is happening, but I didn't really find anything, which is why I've kind of reset the direction of this video. So if any of you do have any experience with anything like this, or could at least link to something about this, in the comments, I would much appreciate it. Now, I did just buy some actual PVC tubing, and I will be replacing that tubing with the PVC tubing, but I don't actually, like, it. I'm not going to be getting the tubing for three to five days, and hopefully this will fix or stop whatever that is. Now, I will give an update in the comments on what actually happens once I switch over to the PVC piping in a month or two, or maybe a few more months than that, like five or six. But that is all I have for this one. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. There is also the HFG Discord server. It is completely free to join. All you need to do is agree to the server rules, and then you will be able to view all of my charts. A link is in the description. There is also Patreon if you want to support the channel directly. Again, a link is in the description. You may want to check out these videos here. It'll probably be something along the lines of building the custom water cooling loop. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.